Hi, I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at a Fanville PA2. Now, this is one of our latest favorite devices here. Uh, we're going to integrate it with a PA system, but it's also good for paging speakers or integration uh, with um, uh, a paging system as well. So, PA system in. Uh, paging system out and it's very small nice to use very good price point so we're going to jump in and see how this is configured uh, also check out our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Helia Canada and please subscribe there's got lots of great videos as more come out uh, you'll get a notification of it okay let's jump in and see how this is done Okay, so here's our PA1 interface. Now, one thing you'll notice is when you first plug this thing in, it comes uh, provisioned with a static IP address of 192.168.1.128. So you got to navigate there first, turn off static IP, put on a static IP within your network or uh, DHCP, um, and then log in. So I've already done that. We are currently at, uh, well, whatever address you saw there, username and password, admin and admin. So let's log in. This is the uh, interface. Now, uh, a couple things. Under network here, this is where you're going to change your IP address. So you can see here I'm on DHCP. By default, it's static IP, and this is what you need to change. So you put your IP address. This one's for my network, so don't try using this. It's not going to work. Uh, if you're not familiar, contact your network administrator or just put it on DHCP. So that is number one. Now, a couple of the other things we do. We need to go to the line setting here, and under line, this is where we put in our credentials for our PBX. So you need a, a VoIP PBX or phone system to connect this up. And so what we're going to do is phone number, that's your extension, 244, 244, 244. On my phone system, that's what I'm using uh, for this particular extension. The password is also going to come from here. And then you need the IP address of your phone system, which you can see here, 10.199.24. Now you say, where do you get that in 3CX? Well, let me show you. Uh, if we go up here, uh, I've created an extension. So I've gone to extensions, added a new extension, and here's the extension that I've created. Now, generally, you don't want voicemail on, so you probably want to disable that. Aside from that, uh, I've used the first name and last name of Fanville PA2 for uh, our purposes here, but you probably want to put something else in there. Now, uh, this is the most important authentication ID. I'm putting in my extension number because because I find it, it consistently works better for unsupported 3CX devices. And then we have our password. So if you click on this little I button here, it's going to reveal the password. And then we want to copy that and place it in here. Now, in terms of your SIP proxy server address, of course, you get that from your network administrator as well. Okay, aside from that, we're going to click Apply. Uh, and that's going to... Well, it uh, shouldn't take me back to the login screen. Uh, so let's click apply as well. And we, it should come back and saying it's registered. Now, that's really important because if it's not registered, you're not going to be able to connect. Now, there is a dial uh, feature up here that you can use for testing. I'm going to put in extension 202, which is my extension in, in my home office here. And I click OK and you can hear my extension ring. So I'm gonna hang that up because that test is done. Uh, and now the next thing is actually connecting our settings. So if you look on the PA2, I should have covered this right at the beginning, but there's a WAN connection. That's where you wanna plug, plug in your network cable. Now, a couple other things. On the back side, we have a uh, power adapter, but it doesn't come with a power adapter, but you can use a, uh, a five volt power adapter on there. And um, five, 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 five. Sorry, that is wrong. Not 5 volt, 12 to 24 volt. And the voltage really depends on the output of the speaker if you're driving a speaker off of here. So you want a 12 to 24 volt power adapter here. And then, um, 
optionally, uh, we're using a PoE switch, so that means the power is coming through the network cable here. So you need a special switch or a PoE injector, and then you don't need a power cable to drive this. I'll also uh, note that there is a SIP net light here. Now, if that's just blinking and it's not solid like it is right now, that means it doesn't have registration. For whatever reason, there is no account and it's not registered to the phone system. So this should be solid like we have here. That means it's registered. Okay, now on the back side here, uh, we've got uh, some adapters and these things come uh, with the PA2 kit. So you get two with six and then one with four. You get a, a handy dandy little screwdriver and then you wire up uh, a wire here. Now I haven't put a switch on here on the other side. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a, uh, you would normally put a push button, a momentary switch that you get from an electronic store and it's not a toggle on and off. It's actually a, a press, uh, a momentary press switch. But what we can do is now that I've got that connected, now I've got it connected to the uh, key, the middle two on the middle jack. Now, when I connect those together, let's see if I can put this up here, uh, and I'm going to connect my wires together just like a momentary switch. What it's going to do is dial a number here. Now, um, that would, in, in most cases, that's a conference bridge. Uh, in this case, I've just wired it uh, directly into the phone here to dial so I can pick uh, pick up. And uh, uh, in, in this case, uh, we're wiring it up for a, a church, so I'd be able to listen what's coming into a PA system. So um let's see how that's done now we're going to go back into function key here now this is where this is set up so normally hotkey is on i believe key event but it needs to be in hotkey so we're going to do hotkey subtype is speed dial uh, number is 202 that's the extension that it dials so if you, it's a conference bridge you would put your conference bridge in there and then simply click apply now, one last thing that we need to do here. We need to get an audio input for the microphone off of the PA system. So I have an additional uh, adapter that I've wired up. Again, from an electronic store, you uh, would get this. And then we simply pull this out. Uh, super simple here. Use our, um, let's make sure I have this right. So it's the one on the end. And we simply go in here, undo the screws, and uh, wire this in here. And uh, one and two, one and two. Okay. And then once this is wired in, we would simply uh, get in a, a low level output. So we're not, we're not like, um, we really don't want, well, we don't want to put a speaker output from your PA system on here. This needs to be some sort of low level output. And ultimately, if there's a, if, if there's an output off your mixing board that you can uh, turn or adjust the, uh, the output, uh, that's a really good idea. If you really want to get fancy and you're talking to your sound guys, they're definitely going to say, well, we need to match impedance and different things like that. And so, um, uh, most of the time, this gets uh, just connected to an output, not a speaker level output. It really should match um, your your impedance uh, of the microfoot, uh, micro microphone output here, because if you don't, there's distortion. There's a uh, chance of overdriving the mic uh, input here and damaging it. And of course, then um, the manufacturer is not going to... Um, uh, validate your warranty if this gets destroyed. So lots of things to consider there. Uh, but that's how you configure it. I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report. Check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Also, our online store, you'll find this device, www.buyphonesonline.ca and search for the Fanville PA2. Uh, thanks for your time. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.